Today we're in the shop talking about kitchen cabinet design and fabrication and the benefit of having a full scale drawing. Now we started off with a fridge that was per uh, purchased and panels that are required to go on the fridge. So there's basically a, a large panel on the top for the main fridge and then two freezer sections on the bottom with corresponding dimensions that are given for the minimum size of those panels. And from there, I'm actually the same manufacturer's website, they've kind of given a, an example of what the kitchen would look like. So now we've got the fridge over here with those same panels on the, on the bottom and also on the top and also kind of like a filler one to fill the gap between the top of the fridge to the ceiling. So those dimensions look good and we're basically going to take those and replicate them for the rest of the kitchen so we have a consistent scale and look. From there, a really crude rough drawing of kind of one of the cabinet sections that's going to look like more of kind of a, a pantry with the bottom drawers, an upper one, and a top one. So from there, what I did is created this full scale drawing that I can't really get into the picture. So here we start at the top with the crown molding that's going to be at the top that upper cabinet that was shown the larger full size cabinet and then the lower section all drawn out one to one with uh, on plywood with tape but the thing that I really like about this design is you can basically measure directly off of it so what we can do is if we want to find out what the distance is. I've got the three quarter inch plywood bottom drawn in there. Is we can just put a square on that's lined up to the bottom there. Clamp that guy in so it doesn't move. And then we can use a trusty old tape measure. Trying to do this one-handed, sorry about that. Come on, you. And we can basically drag the tape out. I'm not left-handed. And we can measure out to this distance here, which I've marked on there, 23 and 3 eighths to the mid drawer and any other measurements which I've gone on and put here the size of the uh, the doors or panels in this case here and then any other fine points so I can measure down from here to the bottom of the uh, cabinet inside dimension and the inside dimension for the shelf for the upper cabinet or the very top one as well just a great system and it works really well